Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to import the address book from an Excel file. Um, this is a spreadsheet that I built that kind of matches the software. Um, so all, all you really do is you just fill out this spreadsheet accordingly. Um, each account track number can have all these fields filled out. So say if you put Matt in here, account track code, that's for a completely different, that's for a different video altogether. We won't get into that right now. Search key, you're just going to match it up to the search key that I have listed over here. And it's MNO. And email address. So you're going to fill out that. You say Matt at jbmga.com. Um, and then right here, if you want to set up scan to folder, then you just put whatever his, the host name of his computer or the server that he wants to send to. So your host name or IP address. All right. right here in the file path, this is the, the share, the folder that you have shared on this host. So ours, when we set it up, we usually share out the scans folder. We have to create the folder and set permissions and stuff like that. But without going into that, that's what that is. The username and password is the username setup is the username and password for his computer. Or if you have our script, then it's um, usually biz sub biz sub. So we're just going to do this just for the explaining purposes. All right. And if I have a fax number, then we can put that in there, too. All right, so right here, say you want to create one that doesn't have a um, email or a fax. So it's like a public scan folder. So public scans. Um, fill this out so it's going to PQRS. No email for it, but we are going to have this host name. So we're going to say host name or IP address. This is usually the server scans or whatever share path or scan or the folder that you have shared and then the this um well yeah that'll work um another one you so we'll just we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple more just to so we'll have something to fill out um say if they have an SMB and it's set to the server to certain names so um, say Brenda and her Zoom ABC. We'll put a we'll put an email in there for her anyway. Brenda at jbmga.com. All right. So this is going to be so. Say if you have shares set up on the server, so you're just going to put the server name or the or the host address. The, the the host name is this. The host name is the server name. So you can put the host name of the server. Um, or the IP address and say that um, they all go to a folder so it's say like a, a company folder so it might be scans and then under that folder you might have Brenda and then you have the username and password for your server which it all depends on what you'll have so we're just gonna put admin same thing goes for John um, JKL. Um, we'll go ahead and fill him out, John at jbmga.com. Um, his is the same thing. If he goes to the server, host name or IP address, and then say his folder is going to be scan slash John. So you notice this one and this one are different. This might be going to his personal computer. This might be going to a server on the network. I'm showing you multiples. I'm not saying this is how you're going to have all these different scenarios on yours. I'm just showing you different examples. So if you have, whether you're on a server environment or an individual computer type deal. So this was going to be admin again. Admin. Okay. So from here, once you finish filling out everything, you can have, you have up to a thousand in here. Um, so. You're just going to go here, you just save as, 
So we'll say desktop and you're gonna name it. What does you what do you want to call it? So we're gonna call it video import. All right, and you want to save it as a CSV file, common de delim um, delimited file. So you hit save. It's gonna come up and ask you this. So you're gonna hit yes. And once that's done, you just close it up. You're not gonna save it this time because it's my it's the data admin sheet. So it's already saved. So now you're gonna go to your Conic Canola Data Administrator, which you already downloaded because if you get in this video, then you've already got the first video. All right, well, once it opens up, File that you say, which is a CSV file right here. And it's going to open up this window. The only thing you need to worry about right here is the type of information that you're, that you're going to need and enter in. Um, I've got a bad install. I'm not really sure why it's showing like this. So I'm not going to show you how to add it as is. But it's exactly the same as adding an email address and we'll see it in just a second. So, So you want to tell it it has a header and it has one line, just a one line header that goes straight across. And then once you do that, you just hit next. All right. So my spreadsheet is built off of what the what this program is asking for. The only thing is different is the address name. I say address name. It says one touch name. Other than that, everything's pretty much exactly the same. So you're going to say address name matches up the one touch. We're not using account track code, so you can go to search key, search key to search key, email address, email address, host address, host name. Uh oh, let's we'll see. File path, user ID, and password. All right, everything's picked, so you're going to hit next. All right, so right here you see everything spread out, um, it split up everything. So the people that like Matt in that in that data admin sheet, let me just do a visual. If you look right here, you notice I only have one Matt, but you notice right here there's two Matts. It took everything I filled out in this line that I chose. I didn't do facts, so it's not shown in there. But you notice I had an email and a host and a SMB. Well, there the there they are right there. It just takes that spreadsheet and it splits off the different things that you need. That's why this spreadsheet is so good to have. All right, so from here, you're going to select them all by selecting all or shift and selecting, saying select, and you'll see right here, it'll mark select and you hit import. All right, over here, it'll tell if you had an error. And if you have no errors, you're gonna highlight all of them. Right here, there is a button that says edit. You're going to say edit search key. And right here, you're going to check the main button. What that's going to do is when you walk up to the machine, you hit fax and scan. It's going to put all these on the main screen right there, which is the way most people like them. Um, you hit OK. If you want to have individuals, say you want to keep that screen clean and make people click on the alphabet to find their name, then you're just going to um, click on edit and tell it not to say edit and tell it not to do that and then it won't put anything on the main screen it'll 
it'll put everything in whatever search key that you have listed right here. So to get to the match, you'd have to click on the MNOs on the main screen. So we're going to keep it on the main screen. And once you have everything, if you have everything right here that you want done, you say export the device and you say right. And it goes through its little process and it starts importing the information into the machine. All right, once it's finished updating, you'll see this right here and you hit OK. If you look right here, it changed it to registered. So what you can do now is to check it is you go back to the printer and you just refresh the screen up here at the top. So we go to address, address book, and there's the emails that we added. If you go down here, SMB, there's your, your um, email, your, I mean, your scan buttons. So it imports everything just like you need it to be based off that spreadsheet. Um, this also allows you to take the same spreadsheet and add it into other machines that you have on your network, say video test two, second floor, HR, whatever. You can basically have a full company spreadsheet, import the entire spreadsheet, or when you import it, it gives you the option to import certain stuff out of your spreadsheet. You just tell it which people you want on that spreadsheet, and then you it'll add them to that machine. So it's um, if you have a master spreadsheet, it helps out a whole lot. Um, but this is the video.